up and heave in. Just completely, utterly in awe here. That is a complete scandal. That is right out of this world. Alguna maybe would have been one she would have looked to, to miss, but maybe because of the World Series finals. Have to stay in there. And she did lose to Annie Au, didn't she? In the last 16 there, which isn't surprising at all. I don't think she was that well either, direct, it's directly after the Commonwealth Games. Good tight shot from Evans. Hand out. Five all. Yeah, nicely finished. She's not missed anything from that kind of area. And now, seven all. Hello. Yeah, nice done by Tesney Evans. First blood to the Welsh here. Evans. Yeah, nicely done. Difficult movement when you're coming out of the corner really quickly Eight, to be twisted six. and turned back to where you've just come from. Oh, well played. Well, it's just joke touch. Joke touch from Tesney Evans. Half volley. Nine. That Eight. is a difficult shot to play. Well, it's the perfect lob. More beautiful touch from Tesney Evans. Massive moment in this game. How good is that? Again, more touch into that front left-hand corner. Making it look so easy. That's a difficult one. <laughs> she had to use all of her wingspan on that volley drop. And now. Desperate reach, Nine. and it paid off. There is another error from King. Big, big upset here. Tesney Evans taking out the number four seed. Well, there's some magnificent squash from Tesney Evans. Beautiful shots around the court. Very skillful player. She did deserve that. Tesney Evans taking out Joel King. Three love in 40 minutes. 11-9, 11-8, 11-6. We said that Serm's looking pretty dominant so far in this game. Yeah, the game plan's working. Seven. She's uh, been stretching Urquhart into that deep. Thank you. 
Well, it's unfortunate. It's a tight shot from um, Urquhart took the risk and took it on. Didn't pay off on that occasion. All that Sam um, creates with her volley, especially on the backhand side. So she's trying to throw in the angle or the drop from the back, but it's not really working for her. Certainly working for Sam, though. That's a great little boast, isn't it? We're ripping it round. That is Camille Sam at her best. Seven, three. I don't think that sort of thing happens though when you've been starved of an area because all of a sudden your eyes light up, you go for it and you're like, oh, what was I doing? <laughs> well, second game for Camille Sam. So um, gives a little sneaky smile out to her corner there. She was happy with that rally. Wow, look. <laughs> Double ledger centre. <laughs> I don't see this very often, very often, do you, in the professional game? Most. Huge guess there from Urquhart. And Ken seven match ball. Which resulted in three match balls for Camille Sam. Well, an error from Urquhart. So three love victory, Camille Sam winning in 30 minutes, 11-9, 11-4, 11-7. That is Danielle's combination, isn't it? She loves to look, she looks for that move to the backhand and oh she'll, no. she'll get in and counter drop or drop the ball into the backhand side and then waits for the forehand volley. Perry. Down. There it is. The solid striking Perry. of the ball. Too much for Annie in that first game. hitting, isn't she? A bit. That'll do. <laughs> Again. Nine, three. Shot just getting. Yeah, nice and done. Body language is starting to go for Annie Hour. She looks a bit lost on there. So 
fast seasons. Yeah, I was expecting this to be a lot closer, I have to say. Well, she's got her tactics spot on, hasn't she? Even Alison Waters is in, the, in there gesticulating to herself, but she's got five match balls here. But there you go, only needs one of them. Beautifully cut in. Backhand drop shot from Sarah Jane Perry. A masterclass tactically from the English player. That is a bit of a chop suey there. Sarah Jane Perry beating Annie out. Three love. 11-6, 11-6, 11-5. Crucial, obviously, because we know what happens if that ball lands in service box area. So many options. And now, five, three. Chabini's not bad to watch. <laughs> it's right. Still one game ball for the last. Nine, ten, game ball. See you rally. Yep. Or just hit an outright winner off the <laughs> return to serve game like game that. One game to go. If she can do that, then she'll prevent us from hitting these counters. But if she keeps hitting it loose and leaving <laughs> it there, she's going to be punished. Five, just top two. spin that one into the nick. Watch this. It's in a bit of. <laughs> This is incredible. It's going to be a winner as well. Everything is working for the English player. Ten, four, Absolutely eight, on fire. Six. Certainly has the Midas touch here. Thinking time for Renee Moulili as she. Moulili uh, looking to fire herself up. No. Slightly more. Much better body language, wasn't it? In that Therefore, mistakes will be made. Stroke to Yeah, stroke to Elva Lily. Got more than ten. She's not happy with herself as she goes storming back to her seat. the line on her length four. hasn't she lost she wasn't leaving the ball there best I've seen Victoria lost play by a margin oh yeah definitely look at that I mean everything is working for last well, this definitely will be a has win. the Midas touch Ten, seven, so it would be an four. enormous victory Lily's 100% reviewing this. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if this uh, isn't overturned. It's going to go no let. Wow. Yeah, what a shot. And 
down. Seven three. Well, that error from Victoria Lust means that El Walili has seven match balls. Six and match out. balls. Four, ten match balls. Well, there it is. Pranine El Walili's done it. That's Back Willili. from the brink. Had to Willili save Willili a three match balls. Against Victoria Eleven Lust. Four. Lust certainly played some of the squash of her life in that match, but in the end, it's at Ranim Owalili winning in 50 Ladies minutes and gentlemen, of 3 2. Time, please.